praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, God be praised and glorified forever. Amen. I love that song that say, Hallelujah, Christ of conquered Satan. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered Satan. Children of God keep rejoicing, Christ has conquered Satan. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered Satan. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered Satan. Children of God keep rejoicing, Christ has conquered Satan. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered Satan. Amen, amen, Christ has conquered Satan. Keep rejoicing for Christ has conquered Satan. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered Satan. Oh, oh Christ has conquered demon. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered Satan. Children of God, dance and rejoice, O oh, Christ has conquered Satan. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered Satan. Keep rejoicing, Christ has conquered Satan. Amen, Christ has conquered Satan. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered Satan. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered Satan. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered Satan. Hey, hallelujah, Christ has conquered Satan. You know, I didn't know why this song came to my heart, but the Lord is speaking to my heart right now and saying that somebody that has got to listen to you tonight, that the person has been on a struggle. He has been on a life of struggle. It's like the grand, the person is standing, is so slippery. It's so slippery. It's like the person is about falling. But the Lord said, stand still on me. Fear that not. Christ has conquered Satan. Christ has conquered Satan. Christ has conquered Satan. Hallelujah. Christ has conquered Satan. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered the demon. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered it all. Amen, Christ has conquered Satan. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered the devil. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered, conquered. He has conquered, conquered, conquered. He conquered for you, he conquered for me. Hallelujah, Christ has conquered the devil. He has conquered the whole world. Hey, we are going to meet that today. Have he conquered? After spoiling principalities and power, Bible say he made a public show of them all. That is the true God. That is the real God. Somebody watching me tonight, stop crying. Stop crying. There's a victory on your corner already. There's a victory that is sent for you already. Stop being on the crying line. Come on, be on the rejoicing side. Stop crying for what the devil is doing. Stop complaining over what the devil is doing. Stand and give God the praise. Stand and worship the name of the Lord. Stand and give God the praise. Honor him. Lift your hands up and say, God, I thank you for this situation because you are God. You have conquered the devil. You have conquered the demon. You have conquered the power of evil. You have conquered the power of darkness. You have conquered for me. Therefore, Prince Christ came. What is his purpose? He had you in mind. The Bible said that Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. Hallelujah. He came. He manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. No matter how great, how big, how bad, how high the works of the devil and the works of demon and powers of darkness are, Christ has already conquered it. You are still seeing it standing as a giant, but Christ is seeing it as he already flat on the ground. Christ has conquered devil. Christ has conquered demon. Christ has conquered darkness. Christ has conquered powers of evil. Christ has conquered powers and negative powers and contrary powers. Hallelujah. He has conquered. Oh, I love that song that says, He has given me victory. I will lift him higher in this world. I will lift him higher. He has given you victory. I say he has given you victory. Stop being down, casted. Stop, come on, looking down. Begin to look up. Whenever you look out, look down. It's always dark and full of troubles. But look up. Have you heard of a collusion before? 
Have you heard of two planes that jammed themselves in the air before? Because there's enough space there. But it is only in this ground that is so small. People are dragging land. Have you seen people dragging air space before? Oh my goodness. He has conquered the devil. He has conquered power of demon. He has conquered the power of darknesses. Hallelujah. He has conquered for you. Come on, put smile in your mouth. The devil has heaped the problem. You don't have money to pay your house rent. You have not made your papers, sir. Your children are well worn. Your children are not in the word of the Lord. Your prayers are not answered. Come on, give him praise and rejoice. Come on, dance and say, God, I know who you are. I know who you are. So many years ago, I had a problem and the devil was telling me this and this and that. A lot of discouragement and I rose on my feet. I said, the devil, you know that I know that I I know that you know that I 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 know that Jesus is Lord. He's Lord over every situation. He's Lord over every circumstances. He is Lord over every power. He's Lord over every person. He's Lord over every government. He's Lord over every president. He is Lord every time. He does the best and what is God is the most acceptable. Jesus is Lord. Therefore, we shall rejoice and give him praise forever and ever. And ever and ever in Jesus' mighty name we pray. What a great God we have. What a great God we serve. What a mighty God we worship. What an excellent Jehovah. His name be praised forever. Before I pray, I want to encourage you, share this message. Share this message. Share this message. Please, please, please begin to share. If you share, it will be written here that this person have shared, and this person have shared, and this person have shared. Begin to share this message so that it's going to get to a lot of people. God has a message for somebody tonight. There are somebody now who will say, oh, what will I watch? Oh, I'm discouraged. Oh, my faith is going down. But when you share it, paraventure, the woman, will, the person will see it. You know, I was preaching. I met a woman yesterday. She told me how she came in contact with us. You know, she's not around this land. She said one day she was a kind of saying, what will I watch? Oh, God. You know my situation? While she was strolling down, she saw where we were preaching. She queued in and listened to the word of God. And since then, she get connected to us. And then begin to hear more and more of word of God and more of word of love. So begin to share this message right now so that it got to spread. It got to go to a lot of people, to so many WhatsApp groups, uh, to so many uh, Facebook, uh, to so many, even if you can share it in Instagram. Wherever, 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 share the message and let people hear the good news of our Lord Jesus. Who knows if it's coming sooner than we think? Who knows if it, this will be the last goodness you will do? Who knows if this will be the last gospel you will be sharing? But I pray, except through rapture, you will not die premature. I pray, except rapture is occurring, if not that, let it not be the last gospel you will share. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, somebody is making a very powerful correction. I like that. When you are writing Jesus, please don't use small letter again. He's not a small God. He's not a small God. Even when I'm writing Jesus is Lord, He is. I use capital letter for He. Wherever I'm writing about God, I use capital letter. Even when I'm writing He, I still use capital letter to do that. He is a great God. He is far above. Even if it is the middle of the sentence, I will still use capital H for He. Because or His. Because He is real and great. Let's pray together. Father, we want to thank you for the word of God. We want to bless you for the life, gift of life. Not all the people that woke up yesterday saw today. Not all the people that saw today is still alive today. Not all the people that woke up today are still heady. Some have been rushed to the hospital. Some are crying right now. Some are one pain or other. But you made it possible that we shall still be alive in the land of the living. That we shall be still strong and powerful. God be praised and exalted. God be praised and magnified. And let the name of Christ alone be honored in your life, in my life and all of us. Let this word of God that is coming out, come out with power, let it come out with excellency and dignity and begin to break every barrier in your life, every barrier in every life that is listening. I begin to command right now everything that is setting you backward, everything that is drawing your love backward, be broken, be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of God, let the glory of God flow in in you, moving in you and begin to draw peace and joy in you. Let the joy of the Lord be the strength of your life. Let the joy of the Lord 
be the strength of your life. That the power of Jesus, power of dignity, power of reality, power of excellence flow in and move in your life. And Christ name be honored right now. I begin to decree by the authorities in the word of God that there be a divine visitation and glory of God come your way. I begin to seal you up in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The joy of the Lord is a strain and the mighty man of valor keep working in you, helping you, seeing you thoroughly true. Speak your word now that we will hear the end Christ be glorified and magnified. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Yeah. You see, we are in a series of uh, teachings. Uh -huh. The new topic we started the day before yesterday is uh, what is separating you from the love of God? What is separating you from the love of God? What is separating you? But some of us have been separated this time around. You know, that zeal you had at that beginning, that joy you had at the beginning, that enthusiasm you had at the beginning. Look at the way it is dwindling. Some have so dwindled and some have pit out. Some have gone out. Some are no more there. Some are gone out. No, you need your former love. Your former love need to come back. The former love you have for Jesus need to come back again. It need to come back again. And the name of Christ be glorified. Remember where we took our test last time. In the book of Romans chapter 8, it was saying, Watch and separate us from the love of God. That place where we read in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 37 through 39. He said, Watch and separate us from the love of God. He began to mention things that have been separating people from the love of God. Number one, he said, He said, Should death separate us? Oh, then I thought about death. There some people have somebody died, beloved died, and this wife died, husband died, this and that, and their love have gone out. Their child died, their love have gone out from God. All these things are not so, 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 supposed to separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. He said, who is life? Is it life that is going to separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? No, all these things ought not to separate you. All these things are not the thing to separate you. God wants to know how much you love him. God wants to know how strong you are in him. God wants to know how reliable you are. He wants to know, you say, God, I love you, I love you. He said, who told you you love me? How reliable is your love? Let me see how much you love me. God is interested in you. Is that separating you already? You still remember the loved one you cry. You remember this you cry and say, God, where were you? In short, I will not serve you again. I will not worship you again. Let me tell you, even if we don't worship God, God will turn stones to worship him. God will turn stones to worship him. Best, sir. One morning, I got up in the morning. I looked out from my heart. I saw a squirrel. You know, I saw a squirrel in a tree. The squirrel just hung on a tree, moved up, moved down, and climbed to the top of that tree and just did the two hands like this. And did it again, and did it again three times, and then heard something. And I said, God, what's happening? He said, They are worshiping me. They are worshiping me. They know I'm their provider. Do they plant anything? Is it because they have a bank account? Is it because they have some food in their house? Do they know where the next food will come from? They worship me. I remember those days when we were little children. There's this kind of animal that looks like a, a rabbit, but very, 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 very clever. Anytime we go to forest uh, to pursue these animals, you know, to hunt for them, there's this one, you know, this one will come out, it looks like a, a, a rabbit, but it has a mark here and a mark here. The meat is very, very sweet like that. Even if in the midst of 20 people, the animal will run and run and run and run. The moment it gives you a small gap, it will put the leg on the ground and lift up the two hands and do it like this and come down. It will run, nobody will kill it again. I begin to say there are mysteries, so. Yeah? So this is no, there is a God. And God, if God cannot feed this animal, then how much more me and you? We need to worship him. So what is separating you from the love of God? Is it death? Is it life? Have life so death with you? Your husband cast you away? Your children are no more interested in you. The people you did good are no more on your side. They are talking against you. No good report. Are you out of job? In all these things, we are more than conquerors. That's what the Bible says. All these things are not supposed to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus of Nazareth. God is interested in each and every one of us. Today we are going to talk. The third point there is angels. 
Will the angel separate you from the love of God? Is it the angel that will come and separate you from the love of God? Let's see what the Bible talks about the angels. In the book of Job chapter 4 verse 18. Job chapter 4 verse 18. Let's see what the Bible talks about the angels. Job chapter 4 verse 18. The Bible said, Behold, he put no trust in his servant, and his angels he charged with folly. His angels he charged with folly. That means that angel that wants to, you know, separate you from love of God, came with a different message to you and begin to tell you a different thing from what the word of God has said. That angel is demonic angel. That angel is not of the Lord. God said, take what God said and not what the angel said. If any angel come to you and begin to say a different thing from what God has said, take the angel off my way, I bind you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind you. And the angel will be bound. Are you hearing me? We are read in Job chapter 4 verse 18. Job chapter 4 verse 18. Behold, he put no trust in his servant. And his angel he charged with folly. That means the angels are not even clean before him. He charged them with fault. That means he's managing the angels. That is it the angel that God is managing that will come and remove your love and your deepness and your deep thought from the Lord. So, so many people like that, when this or this happened like that, you know, they begin to walk it and be believe it immediately. No, 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 no. What is separating you from the love of God from, that is in Christ Jesus of Nazareth? So many years ago, let's say, so many years ago, let's say about 30 years ago or 31 years ago, in those days I was in my office and they brought in a young lady and the young lady was having a mental case. She was walking up and down in my office. She was making a noise. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. She was saying that, walking up and down. I told her, go have for me. I'm coming. I went in dressed in very well. I come out to the prayer tower. I said, in the name of the who are you? And the demon started speaking. I am the Lord Mosai. I am the angel of the Lord. I am the Lord. I want her to serve me. She refused to serve me. And I want to visit her with madness. Therefore, she is going to be mad. Except you choose to serve me. I said, God, I serve, does not behave this way. No, God can only use persuasion on you. He cannot use this wickedness. Devil, you are a bad devil. I say, can I try you? The demon said, yeah, 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 try me. Try me. I know I am the Lord. You are my son, my servant. As I'm talking to you, I called you. You obeyed me. I said, shut up. Who is your servant? Don't call me your servant anymore until I finish ver doing verification. He said, okay, 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 no problem. Verify. You yourself will confirm that I am the Lord. I said, you can. I said, okay, there's no problem with the characteristics I've already seen. My God cannot behave this way. I asked the demon. The Bible said that. Did Jesus come in spirit or in person? Did he come in the spirit or did he come physically? And the demon said, he came in the spirit. He came in the spirit. I say you are a liar. That any power and any body that said that Jesus came in the spirit is antichrist. Is a devil. Is a demon. He's, she, the demon said, uh, ask me another question. Ask, I say, I will have question and answer. Is it Jambo Wayek? No, 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 no. That's not where we are. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Come and get out. The lady flew up, on the ground, was rolling. I told them, leave her, she will not die. They said, she's foaming. She will, I said, she will not die, leave her. After rolling, 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 sometimes she slept off. After 30 minutes, she woke up. Her brain got cold. Her senses came back. She looked at me and said, sir, good evening, sir. Ah, when did I come here? Who brought me here? Sir, in your house. I'm sleeping in your office. What happened? I said, relax. The God is in control. Hallelujah. Christ has conquered Satan. Hallelujah. Christ has conquered Satan. You know, he did it yesterday. He will do it today. And he will do it tomorrow. If he didn't do that for you yesterday, he will do it today. If he doesn't do it today, tomorrow surely is your turn. One thing is too sure that he will remember you. Stop getting discouraged. You see, because of the way, let me tell you, the economy of the world generally can never be well again and can never be good again. But your personal economy will shall be well. It shall be good. So stop looking at the economy of the whole world and how the economy is going. You have high blood pressure. And if you die of high blood pressure, that means you lived in fear, you go to hell. 
one woman died and was explaining to God. You see, the armed robbers came and then they were shooting gone and my heart went off. Fear grabbed me and then when they left, I started having high blood pressure and I died of high blood pressure. You want to come and get out of here. Fear gripped you. Where is faith before fear come and took over? Do you think the people here are fearful? You don't know, according to Revelation chapter 21 verse 8, the first set of people that will have first class seat in hell are the fearful. Why should you allow fear to dominate your life? Come on, tell fear to get out of you. They say you'll be blind. They say, oh, my God. Doctor, say, who is doctor? Who is the doctor that is giving you report contrary to what God has said? An angel appeared to me and told me, the, who is that angel? Who is the angel that appeared and began to tell you contrary things from what God has stated in his word? He said, what is separating you from the love of Christ? He said, is it angels? Is it the angel that are separating you right now? You keep on seeing angelic visitations. Mind the kind of angels you are seeing. Mind if they are walking in the word of God or if they are walking outside the word of God. But I want to let you know that the word of God is forever settled in heaven. The word of God is forever settled in heaven. What is separating you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What is separating you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? Is it dead? Is it angels? As we, are, as we are reading right now, what is it that is separating you? These angels you want to trust. He said, an angel appeared to me. Look at what happened in the Bible. You know, God told a young man of God, go and do miracle. Go and do signs and wonders. After doing this, don't go through the same way. Don't stop on the way. Don't eat. Don't do anything. Come on. Straight on and move on. Come back home the way I directed you. Come back home. I am the one that sent you out. I am the one that will go with you. I am the one that will go for you. Come back home. Come back home. Come back home the way I directed you. The young man went and did exploit. He went, did miracles, did signs and wonder. Powerful thing happened. And the, the king, he said, come and eat. And being a young man, he opened man. No, the Lord said, I am not going to eat anything. I shouldn't eat. That would have been a personal secret. He said, I should not eat anything. Eh? And they said again. And the same Lord talked to me that the same road I came through is the same road I will go through back again. He has told the whole people the road he will go through again. There are some secrets you need to keep. There are people that God cannot reveal anything to because they are talkative. They are porous. When God revealed, God said, this is personally meant for you. They will show it to the whole world. They will take show it to the whole world. And God himself will not be happy about that. When Lord, when Lord did God show things to you? There are things that are for personal consumption. Since I died and resurrected since I died and the Lord brought me back there are certain things he told me that are for my personal consumption I will not share it with anybody I may talk things close to that I may talk things close to that but I may I will not you know discuss that with people there are men who have told me how demonic they are but so many people are hailing them here on earth bowing before them going and they are laying hand on them no when I meet such men I will not bow for them he that bow for God bow for no man you see to that, when you bow for God, you will not bow for any man. Oh, what are we trying to say? By the divine grace of God, he told everybody. And the, after performing miracle, the hand of the king was, you know, uh, 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 was withered and he restored it. Oh, the fame was everywhere. His heart got blown off. Miracle is not the real thing, but it's your name in the book of life. When they were rejoicing, we performed miracle. We did send, Jesus said, don't rejoice because you cast away the devil. Don't rejoice because you did miracle. Rejoice because your name is written in the book of life. Do you know there are people who are born again who are Christian? Their name has not even one day been written in the book of life. Then how much more that it has been removed? There are so many people, their names have been removed in the book of life. But the first question I want you to ask yourself is, God, have my name one day been written in the book of life? Is my name at all there? Has it one day been written even with pencil? Has it been written at all? Then is it removed? Am I still in the system? Some people will tell people, like, I will show you my color. What is your color? Is it no wickedness? What is your color? Is he not sin? What is your color? Is he not diabolical? What is your color? Is he not unrighteousness? What is your color? What is your color? And the Bible said that the children of the old prophet went home and told their father. The father said, wow, somebody's taking over my title. 
Somebody wants to be greater than me in this land. Where is the young man? Because the young man opened his mouth and told them the road is going through. They told him so, 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 so road. And the young man went somewhere and began to rest. When God told him, stop resting. Child of God, you felt you have done much, stop those your rest. That's why I laugh at churches that say we are celebrating. That means they are resting. We are now celebrating our 10 years anniversary, 50 years anniversary. 50 years anniversary of your church, let's say you want up to 200,000 people when there are billions of people going to hell. And out of these billions you are asked to serve, you only serve 200,000, which are not sure if 20 of them is even making heaven. And you are waiting to celebrate. You invite me in your birthday, I told you I don't have such a time. You are celebrating yourself when God is not celebrating you. Yeah? You are celebrating yourself, your bad day is here, your bad day is coming up, you are celebrating this, you are celebrating that. And then you celebrate it, I will not celebrate it, I will wait the day Jesus will celebrate me in heaven. Oh my goodness, I told you people, when a pastor needs a gift, he will organize a bad day. When he need people to give him gift, he will organize bad day. Remember, I told you pastors, men of God, if you have 200 or 300 members in the church, Remember the day you did your own bad day, there was no praying and fast drop. So you have instituted it. They will put their own praying and fast. That will be a bad day. There will be no fasting that day because you celebrated your own. You didn't put fasting. The day they will celebrate their own, don't put bad day. Because if you have 600 people or 1,000 people, surely every two, two days or three, three days, somebody bad day must come up. So go on with the party in this church and let's see how it will end up. Let's go back to the spiritual side. The church has lost the power. I was talking to a group of men and women. How the church lost the power. And the church is still doing it. The only secret place we have to get power is through prayers. And whenever the church wants to do praying and fasting, they will put it in the radio. They will put it in television. They will invite the devil. They will invite the demon. They will invite unbeliever. They will invite dirty doctor. Come and pray with us. 30 days praying and fasting. 50 days. That, that's it that is supposed to be done in secret. And unbelievers will come. And worldliness will come. And sinners will come. And they begin to jump up. And they pollute the place of power. And the church went without powers. And the church are gone without powers again. Why? Because uh, they didn't go to the altar of righteousness. The apostles were locking themselves. They said they give to themselves to the ministry of prayers and the world. But today we have given ourselves to a minister of prosperity. Mm, ministry of jet riding, ministry of bishopry, ministry of building cathedral. That's why we have given ourselves. No wonder the devil and power of darkness is coming closer to the church and hitting the church. And what are we trying to say? What is separating you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? Is it angels? Let's see another point about the angels that you so much believe. An angel came and spoke to me. Look at what happened. That the old man of God, the old prophet, went to the young prophet, saw him resting. Law number one breakage. Okay, he has broken up to two, three laws. Number one, he told them, God said he will not eat. Number two, he told them, God said, don't they, they go through the same way. He announced it. That's number three mistake. Number, uh, number uh, second mistake. The third mistake, the, he was resting somewhere. And number fourth mistake again. You see how God behaves. Let me tell you, whenever you are a child of God, you commit sin, you think God will not forgive you, God will forgive you, you commit again, he will still forgive you, ask for forgiveness, he will still commit, continue committing sin, he will keep forgiving, but while he is forgiving, he will be looking for somebody to replace you with. He does not work with sinners, he work with the righteous people. Are you hearing me? When you are committing and sinning and sinning, he will be making a way to replace you. And one day, when you bring the book, come on, you are no more in charge. You will be like Samson. Samson, the Philistines are here. Oh, my power. He rises up. The power has gone. May he give us grace to continue in holiness. Grace to continue in humility. The grace to continue in peace. The grace to continue in love. The grace to continue in evangelism. The grace to continue in the work of God. We need God. We need his grace. We need his glory every day of our life. That the mercy of God will walk upon our life. And Christ's name shall be honored, exalted, and glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He's asking a question. Is it angels that is separating you? And the old man of God told the young man of God. Um, uh, come to my house and eat. He said, no, 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 no. The Lord said I will not eat you. Ah, me? Ah, is it because I'm resting small? The Lord even said I should not rest. Look, if I'm not resting, you don't admit me here. Hey, let me saddle and go. The old prophet closed his eyes and said, mm, 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 I'm seeing something. I, I'm seeing something. What is it you are seeing, sir? What is it? What is it? Hey, the old prophet has made name. He has made influence. He has gotten wisdom. He said, what is it? What is it? He said, I saw an angel. 
I saw an angel. He said, you cannot eat. You cannot follow this servant of mine. Go to his house and eat. Go to his house and enjoy yourself. God has already spoken to you in contrary, in secret, and in open now, a voice is coming to contradict what God said, and you are ob obliging to that. No! Tell them, no, the word of God is real. It was God that spoke to me to go. Let the same God speak to me to come back. I will not take it from you. I went to pray someday with somebody in the forest. We were there. I was praying. The person was sleeping in the bush in the forest where we were praying and seeking the face of the Lord. He was there sleeping. I said, God, how can I come to pray in a very thick bush like this with somebody in those younger days? I said, ah, and this person is sleeping. I said, God, answer all this prayer according to individually, please. Don't answer us collectively because already he's sleeping inside the bush. Not minding snakes and other dangerous animals that is moving up in this bush here. Yeah? There was no better place for us to pray in those days. We choose to choose bush to stay for days. After I must have prayed for some hours, he spoke to me and said, that's what God is telling him. I said, you, that have been sleeping. Now I am awake and God bypassed me and you begin to talk to a sleeping man. Don't talk to me. Don't tell me anything. Continue going your way. We were there that night, the flowing night. We were there for three nights. On the fourth night, the Lord started speaking to me. I said, Lord, son, I have had your prayers. You people ran up to go. I was so happy. That was a dry fasting. We were there in the boot. In the night, we can climb a tree. In the day, we come down to the ground and stay inside the thick forest like that. And when I told the man of God with me, I said, the Lord said, we can prepare. Our prayers is hard, but tomorrow we shall be living here. He said, yeah, is it now you are getting the answer? I, that night we came, I got the answer immediately. So that we will go. I said, stop that. I said, which night did you pray? Well, were you not sleeping? And things like that. He <laughs> said, I don't know. So many people will come and tell me, the man of God, told, I said, shh. If you have told me the Bible said, I would have taken it. That thing the man of God said can be reproved again. And to know the spirit he is speaking with. And the mind he is speaking with. And the thought he is speaking with. And things like that. Hallelujah. He told him, that you, an angel said, who is an angel before God? An angel said, you can come and eat. And he stupidly and foolishly followed him without consulting the God that spoke to him first. He went to the house of the man of God. The old prophet made sure he ate and ate and ate. The Bible said he had beautiful daughters. The daughters were serving. They were talking so that you'd be looking at them, getting lost. His spirit was going on. He was eating. He was drinking. He overate himself. He was telling him, you're a great man. You prophesied in this life. He, not that knew, he never knew he was praising him, but not with a clean heart. No mind people who are clapping for you. Let me give you a secret. When people are clapping for you because you are doing it, when people are clapping for you, learn how to clap for yourself. So that by the time they stop clapping, you will still be clapping for yourself. Let me tell you something that happened. Not all these praises are very powerful. Hey, you are a great man of God. They are waiting for your downfall. Oh, you are a great powerful woman of God. They are waiting for your downfall. Let me tell you, child of God, and all these women of God preachers that I'm seeing here, and even men of God preachers that I'm seeing here, your position is enviable position. Are you hearing me? Your position is enviable position. Somebody wants to take over your position. But it's not by power, it's not by mind. That's what you're doing for God in the house of God. Somebody is envious about it, but that is not where he or she is called. So go ahead with what they are calling. Are you hearing me? Mosquito took the children out one night. They went and sucked, and they were sucking blood, and the young mosquito were hearing clap, clap. They were, they were having, ah! They said that, Daddy, Mom, is that what you people enjoy? Hey! You know, when I would just go to the ear of sleeping person, I would, mm, he would clap for me, clap for me like this. <laughs> the mother said, No be clap, then they clap. Oh. <laughs> no be clap. Now you are alive, then the target. <laughs> if you are in between that hand and hit like this, now you are dead. Too. He said, Mommy, ah! he said, It's risky now. Nah? What we are doing is not supposed to be now. Nah. We are sucking blood of human being. So, be careful. Oh. <laughs> so, child of God, be careful in the midst of what you think that is praises. Be careful. Bible said, Jesus never trusted in any man. Because he didn't see anything good in man. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, look at, and at the end of the day, he took it, he was, while he was eating, the Bible said, The reward of God. The real prophecy from Jehovah. Came to the old prophet, the old prophet Sarabahalarabrahudada. 
This one begin to say, this is sounding like the voice God spoke to me. This is sounding like that voice that spoke to me at the beginning. And after sounding, ba -ba 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 -ba, everything said, God says the Lord, you shall die. Because you have violated my rule. You will die. Mm, I told you not to stop halfway, you did. I told you not to eat, you did. I told you this. You will die. You will die. And the youth, young prophet was already eating. And the old prophet said, Abbe, go. You heard what God said. That one I spoke before, he, he, he now knows, say, no, be God. And I'm a gumagu prophecy. Now, this is a real prophecy. And this God, me, I defiara mo, make you come to go so that you don't go die for my house. I beg, I beg, I beg, come to go. Bible said he helped him and saddled his axe. Told him to go. On the way, he met a lion. When God even spoke that, he didn't cry, he didn't bow down, he didn't begin to shout and ask for mercy. He said, Well, let me see what will happen. And he saw what happened. The lion killed him and let lion will kill somebody and begin to eat part. But the lion killed him and left the carcass there. The old prophet rushed and carried his body and said, Oh, young prophet, oh, anointed man of God, oh, powerful man of God, oh. I told you that there are so many gifted and anointed men of God in hell. But there is no holy man in hell. Let's search our ways and come back to our maker. What is separating you from the love of God? What you're hearing, the quarreling you're having, the news you're having, all these things are separating you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. No, it's not supposed to be. Look at what the Bible said. And the, the old prophet even went to and told his children, hey, this old man is a noble man. He's a great man. Though he didn't shine so much. Bury him. Whenever I die, bury me by his side so that I will stay with this anointed man of God. Deceit. Who have deceived you? Is it an angel? Tell you your love for God is so cold now. You that whenever you pray, you have breakthrough. Pyap, you're on the throne already. My la la baba. It will after 30 minutes, one hour singing. You are you are you have not even moved. You are looking like a deflated tire. Is it how we make heaven? Is it with this spirit that we're going to make heaven? What is separating you from the love of God? Your friends? Your naked friends, your worldly fashion friends, are they the one leading you to destruction? Mm. In the book of First Corinthians, chapter six, is it Bible? Is it angel? In the book of First Corinthians, chapter six, verse three. First Corinthians, chapter six, verse three. The Bible says, "Know you not that which are judge angels? How much more ten that pertain to this life? We are going to judge the angels. Are you hearing me?" This angel that you said has spoken this and that. We are going to join the angels. That's what the Bible said. We shall judge them. And then you are not listening to them. The angel of the the angels are messengers. The angels are only spirits. But you are a spirit that has a soul and you live in a body. You are even bigger than the devil. In complicativeness, you are bigger than the devil. That is why. You are sophisticatedly created, fearfully and wonderfully made. These ones are spirits, but you are a spirit that has a soul and you live in a body. You are three in one and you are playing with something that is only one. When God sent an angel to come and minister to you, that's a different thing. He made his angel ministering spirits, yes, and made the servant flame of fire. You see, he made a flame of fires and the angels are ministering spirits. So we will judge the angels. So one angel come and begin to tell you something outside the scripture, outside the standard, outside the tell him, no, no. In us of the apostle, we see so many places the angel appeared. And the angel walked in accordance with the word of God. It was the angel that came and opened the door for the apostles. They did a very good work because this is a clean, powerful angel of the Lord. But a lot of people have had a contrary angel visiting them, telling the contrary thing. Somebody said, an angel appeared to him and told him, this deliverance is too difficult. This the devil refused to go. Take one goat, go to the water, take this and kill the goat. Use the blood to wash the person. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to Jesus what belongs to Caesar. Jesus and all this thing will be over. Look, let me tell you, making a sacrifice and com of compromise. It's not what the Bible meant by saying giving to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Giving to Caesar what belongs to Caesar is like paying your tax. 
traffic rules. These are made by the government of the day so that there will be peace here on the planet Earth. Yeah, this are the thing. This is what they mean by giving to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Pay your tax as a child of God, wherever you're working and things like that. You know, and pay your tax. Obey the government rule. But when they rise and say that, which is contrary to the word of God, like they told Peter and them, don't preach the word of God anymore. Peter said, look at what these people are saying. They don't know I have been brainwashed by this word. They don't know I'm a fanatic for Jesus of Nazareth. They don't know I've been carried away. They don't know if you kill me, my blood will drop on the ground and write J-E-S-U-S. -S, because that is what filled me up. Oh, sirs, captains, sir, general, sir. I have only one question. Peter, you have a question. Was this not the one that denied him and said, I don't know him? He said, yes. That was when I was a child, but now I am matured in Christ. Now I am living in Christ and I'm living for Christ. My question is this, sir. Is it better to obey God or man? We shall not listen to your word. We will see us everywhere and we will preach Jesus of Nazareth. Yes. That was when government began to mess up. They said, if government is a mess up, they will not mess us up. If this age is a messed age, we will give them a message from the Lord. If they have messed themselves up, no. God is there to be our help. God is there to be our God. Hallelujah. God is God of love. When any power, any force, anywhere, come and tell you a different thing. Tell them, no, that's not what the word of God says. That's why you need to read the word of God. That's why you need this word. I want to challenge you, if you are listening to me, and you have not finished reading your Bible from Genesis to Revelation for the first time, please start right now. Before this year runs off, you will do that. All my daughters and sons in the Lord who are close to me, the first assignment I give to them is start and read and finish your Bible. Some of them will start, and before you understand it, they will finish the Bible. They told me they will do it. I did it to one of my daughters in China, the other one in London, the other one in Nigeria here, and so many parts of the world. I will give them assignment, and when they continue reading the Bible, they say, wow, I'm seeing mystery in the world. I'm seeing deeper things in the world. They will ask me questions, because you don't know the world. When you know the world, when the contrary answer comes, you say, no, that's not what the Bible said. Look at what my Bible said. There's a man that said he has finished reading his Bible, Old Testament, he says he has finished reading Old and New Testament, but he concentrated in the New Testament, he said he has started reading the New Testament from Matthew to Revelation, Matthew to Revelation, he has finished reading it 250 times, 250 times, whenever he said they were somewhere one day and somebody was trying to persuade him into sin, and he told the person, I know 20 verses of the Bible that is against what you are trying to tell me now. So I will not do it. Because you don't know the word. The warrior people will come and tell you, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. In the, the, the warrior people will come and tell you that it is written in the book of Jeremiah 3-4 that all have sinned and come short of glory. He say yes, 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 yes. It's true. All have sinned and come short of glory. Because you don't know the Bible. Because you don't know the word of God. Instead of John 3-16. <laughs> that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever that believe him will not die and they will quote it for you it is in the book of Isaiah chapter 3 verse 8 he says it's true, it's true ah, it's true, you know the Bible oh. you don't know the Bible, go back to the Bible who are the angels that are deceiving you? don't you know that the fallen angel which the devil is without the demon he fought down they sometimes manifest in glory they sometimes manifest but they are fake and false and they begin to give you a message. There are a lot of false prophets that said the angel came and begin to give the message. That's angelic ministry. If God permit us, we're going to talk about the ministry of the angels. If God permit us, we are going to talk about the ministry of angels with time. You see, these angels we are talking about, there are better things than them. There are better things than them. There are better confidence than them. There are better powers than them. There are better influences than them. There are better things. Things are far, 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 far better than the angels. And then you want to concentrate on the ministry of the angels. Oh my God. Look at what the Bible said in the book of Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 4. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 4. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 4. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, children of God. God be praised in Jesus' name. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 4. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 4. The Bible said, Be made so much better than the angels. 
as he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they, that Jesus is made better than the angels. Are you hearing me? Because he has excellent name. How many demons can go in the name of any angel? That night, you know, the Lord wanted to take me away. They brought a man of God. The man of God was praying and began to say, Baba, Baba, spoke in tongues and began to call angels. <coughs> he began to say, I command now, and Jeremiah to be there, and the Gabriel to be there, and the Uriah to be there. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. A tongue that came from my voice and spoke to my children. That man is fake. That man is fake. The Bible never mentioned any other angel except two in the Bible. Two archangels, the Bible made mention, and the Michael in charge of war, and the Gabriel in charge of good news. There's no Uria anywhere in the Bible. That is the white garment church, that is from demonic world, and they begin to call and the Uria, and then the this, and then the this. Where is it in the scripture? The Lord told us never, and he began to display other things. I told my children, you see, you are now losing your father. Your father is now going to meet the Lord in eternity. Don't believe that man of God is not real, he's not, he is fake. He has prayed for a lot of people who have given him money, who have done one thing or the other, believing him to be real and genuine man of God. He said if they don't bring pure water that night, they is not going to pray. They say use bottled water. They say no, it must be pure water. It must be pure water. If it is not pure water, forget about it. Because he knew that pure water is either gotten from borehole, is gotten from borehole. And every borehole, every borehole is drained drain to sea level or, 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 or river level. He knew the power he wanted to get connected to. You can get any other water, even rain water, get it converted, treat it very well for bottled water and for other waters like that. But before it becomes bottled water, it must have gone under some treatment. He needed the one that is as raw as the power is so that he can now use it. Oh my God. A lot of angels have visited some people and penalized them and told them things that are very difficult to do. He said, but I, I'm a visioner. You know, people want to be proud. I'm a visioner. I also saw the angel of the Lord. He came to me and then he was talking to me. He told me this and this and that. Be careful. The Bible said, anything the angel tell you outside the word of God, don't take it. Is it what is separating you from the love of God? So many of you are going to demonic agent churches where the woman there is always getting message from the angels. And the angel will come. That's one that happened there. A man was very, very sick. Very, very sick. And he go to the drum of the churches. The woman will always claim an angel came and told me message. An angel came. The man has a very big wound in his leg. And he has stayed there for one day, three, four, five days. The wound could not go. And they took the man inside a room. In the middle of the night, the people that came to serve God with a genuine mind, they were there beating the drum, singing and praising the name of the Lord, magnifying and worshiping the name of the Lord with a very clean heart. And they took the young man inside the dark room. And the man, a woman was telling the man, don't be afraid. What is going to happen now? Don't fear, don't fear, relax your mind. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. And he waited and waited. He told the young man, don't be afraid. They put a flinker, a light that the house was still dim. And the man was telling the woman, the, the woman was telling the young man with the wound, don't be afraid. Miracle happened to you tonight. Don't be afraid. They were invoking the angel, calling the angel to come now. Come directly, come directly. It claimed that angel keep talking to them. Bible says some of these transform themselves as angel of light. So be careful, be careful, be careful when they say the angel come. Sometimes they say a man on a white garment came to me. I will listen what the white man on the white garment have said in the dream or in that revelation. And before you understand it, aha, before you understand it, they were there and they were invoking a very big python started coming down from the ceiling. Started coming down, started coming down. And the man wanted to run away. And we men were telling the man not to run away. Have you seen such a situation where a woman's heart is strong and the man's heart faints? Have you seen the generation we belong to? Have you seen where we are right now? May God show us mercy in Jesus' name. Before you understand it, the, 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 the serpent came nearer the wound of the and begin to lick the wound and begin to waste their time for one hour, for two hours, for three hours licking the wound as it was licking the wound with the saliva touching it. The wound was healing, 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 and eventually the wound healed perfectly. Hey, the people 
people there, they were doing VG, we were beating drum, bing, 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 bing. they were dancing, praising the name of the Lord. And all of a sudden, the brother and the young man, people saw the wound, the wound is not healed. Miraculously. Oh, God, we prayed. Some people were praising God. Only the women that went in knew the source of that miracle, knew the source of that miracle. It's better to go to heaven with the wound than to go to hell with the wound healed. Than to go to hell from the power of darkness. What are we trying to say? What is separating you from the love of God? Look at my friend. A woman came here and told me, Daddy, I know. I don't know what is, I'm passing through. Oh, oh, I have three friends. They are Christian. They are children of God. Their husband is beating them. They went somewhere and did something. A man of God tied their husband. And today, their husband is loyal to them. Whatever thing they tell their husband is what their husband will do. But me, I went there, my spirit, all the things I was asked to bring, I could not bring it. My heart did not rest there. I have to go. But my husband is still beating me. But their husband doesn't beat them again. Daddy, why can't I go and tie this? man there so many men are tied but the day they will lose they will handle you hammer you <laughs> for years i don't know why you tied that man go and lose him all. i don't know why you tied that woman go and lose how on before the anger of god will come upon you so many men are interested women are interested in doing that the lady said no i refuse to do that I am calling upon the name of god i believe god will hear me and one day she came and told me my husband have changed and changed for better Hallelujah. The one the Lord has done is better. There are some affliction that will not go out of you. You will die with them. Are you hearing me? These are the affliction that will make you to be stronger every day. The moment those afflictions are no more, there, you will relax. Look at Solomon. He had no battle to fight. He started marrying women. Marry 10, marry 20, marry 30, marry 40, marry 50, marry 500. Hey, 700 women. You know, duo. He come have another 300 concubine. You know, do Queen of Cheba come come and handle Queen of Cheba again. Don't you see Ethiopia, uh, uh, Israeli Ethiopian that came back to Israel some time ago? One man they do this job because he has no battle to fight. He was so relaxed. There are some battles God allow so that you'll be stronger every day. St. Paul said, I besought him three times to remove this from me. He said, My grace is sufficient for you. Stop troubling yourself. In every situation, you are give praise to God. Learn how to give praise to God. And the name of Christ shall be honored in you. We are talking about what is separating you from the love of God. What is polluting your mind. What is speaking against your mind. And your mind is so demoralized. You become so demoralized. That you cannot believe the word of God again. No. God wants you to believe the word of God. God wants you to move in the word. According to the word. And by the standard of the word of God. That is what God is desiring from you. We are still talking about the angels. To so many people will have one dream or the other and tell the angel gave me dream. Let me tell you, dream is never final. Look at so many people who say that they I dream, I dreamt about you too, where this man died. And today he has died. You know, because I dream, must he die because you dreamt about it. Must he die. Do you know what dream means? Dream means this is a something to be to happen. What do you say? Yes or no? You have right to say no. You have right to say yes. And it will not happen. Nobody say, hey, I dreamt about it, it happened. I, I dreamt about accident along that road yesterday night. Or three days ago, it has happened. You need deliverance yourself. God will hold you that. I reveal something to you instead of you to quench and stop it. Don't you? And you allowed it. Don't you see this man that God has said, big man of God. They say, I am seeing uh, 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 earthquake in this country of the world. I am seeing disaster. They don't have that power. The devil will tell them, look at what he wants to do. And they predict it. It happened and you call them prophet. A prophet will see it and say, no, it will not happen. I stop it. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Dream is not final. The word of God is final. Dream is not so authentic as you are elevating it. The word of God is authentic. Keep dream. Keep the word of God. I threw away dream and pick the word of God. I was to go to Lagos some time ago. In the night, the Lord revealed to me that the vehicle I'm going with is going to have accident. He said, but go. I said, eh, you talk accident to him. He said, go. I said, okay, that will be done. And I preached around that night, and I have to go in the day. I was sleeping in the vehicle. All of a sudden, I had to, 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 break, break. Our driver wanted to overtake a very long glory. 
and the big lorry was coming in. He has no option than to slow, 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 slow. When I was up, 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 I was not afraid. I was even in the front of the vehicle because the Lord said, go. That's what I have had a dream. Dream is not final. Dream is not final. At the end of the day, thank God he controlled it. And when we were towards Ore, all we had, I was awake this time. Driver was going, all we have is, bah, at the back of another vehicle. Driver, what happened? He said, my brake fell. My brain fell. Thank God we didn't wound. We have to make another arrangement. Thank God he has to do something and repair it. We continue going. You know, we are taking risk every day. Life is all about risk. Especially all these drivers, you know, that don't repair their vehicles. They know the vehicle. They say that two hours are wasting mechanic now. I will take it to make some money. And they will come with a vehicle that is not in order and begin to carry people. May God continue protecting us. May God continue to guide us. I personally know that I will not die in accident. That was why I continue going. No matter the kind of dream I have, I will not die in accident. I know I'm not an accidental product. Therefore, I will not die in accident. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. We give God the praise. We worship Him. May His name be glorified, magnified forever. Amen. So stop listening to those angels when they speak things contrary. Devil, marine world, marine demon can perform, manifest as angels. And you begin to listen to them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Dream is not final. Most dreams are embarrassing. The devil may see you now. You did praying and fasting. You are strong in the Lord. He may manipulate your dream. You see where you're committing fornication. You say, God, after three days, drive faster. After one week, drive faster. I'm eating in the dream. One sister said, oh my God. God, me and you will settle this. So. Me and you will settle this thing. After one week, drive faster. I see myself eating in the dream. I said, that's manipulation. The person you saw is not even you. <laughs> but the devil showed you your face. You felt, they thought that you're the one eating in the dream. No be you. He said, eh? He said, thank you, Jesus. I would have settled it with God. Dream is not final. Dream is not. There are some brothers that are too powerful and strong in the Lord. And the devil was looking for a way to weigh them down. The devil showed himself where they are committing fornication in the dream. He said, me? Committing fornication in the dream is not possible. Hey! He began to go from one man of God. He felt his pastor that his preaching holiness is not strong enough to deliver him. He went from one man of God to another man. And they begin to lay hand and lay hand and lay hand. And they lay down and introduce demons inside of him. Be careful of who is laying hand on you. At the end of the day, the brother is not sleeping around with young ladies. What he did in the dream and he was crying is what he's doing physically and he's not crying. Do you see what happened? Who lays hand on you? If I teach you the mystery of laying of hands, that's what Bible says, lay hand quickly and no man. But there are people who are interested to lay hand everywhere they see you. This head, now lie. This head, now lie. Since Jesus anointed me and laid hand, he said, let no man lay hand on you. Except you out of a willingness. Go. And then. There was a day I did false humility. A man came and preached and preached and called us to come and kneel down. He is this. He stopped up. I was looking. Two bishops went and knelt down. I said, ah. Hey. I falsely went. This man laid down on us. Hey. I came home and stopped praying. And I didn't drive. The Lord said, are you not a hypocrite? He saw people going out to nail for that man. Do you know when, he, when, when I saw him last before the throne? He came and preached and you people were moved. He went and knelt down. So don't try it again. What did I tell you? I said, I'm sorry, Lord. Since then, oh, except the Holy Ghost speak to me, oh, not even once, so, so many times I become convinced. I said, this is God talking. So that I'll, it will rhyme with my spirit in agreement. Not all men have this Spirit of Christ. Not all preachers have the Spirit of Christ in them. So who is that angel that's giving you a contrary message? Who is that dream that is against the word of God? I was talking to him. He said, but I dreamt about it now. I dreamt. That's why I went to do it. Uh -huh. I, I, I know. He's not born again. But I dreamt where I'm doing wedding with him. Some Bible says some dream come as a result multitude of thoughts. What you have thought and thought is stored in your subconscious mind. You went to bed and begin to dream. I know some children that will sleep. Their mother will wait for them. If they do anything, deny in the day, their mother will wait for them. In the dream, they begin, they, their mouth will be open. They begin to talk everything they did in the day. And their mother will get the answer from them. It is subconscious mind that is opened up. And they begin to open. One thing about the devil is, the devil will tell you to go and commit sin. 
He's the one to report you and he's the one to punish you again. He's not a friend. Run away from him. Live a clean and holy life. Live clean and righteous life. And the name of Christ shall be honored in you. So all these dreams, I have my dream. I dream that dreams cannot be predicted. Don't you see yourself? Sometimes you are in a dream. All of a sudden, it looks like a house. It looks like England. It looks like, you become confused. Uh -uh. The person talking to you become a man. All of a sudden, you become a woman again. Uh -uh. You are on the top of a car. All of a sudden, you are on top of, uh, of your bed. You say, uh -uh. Uh, what kind of this? Dreams are so confusing. They are not reliable. That is why God used higher than dream most of the time, which is called trance. God used higher than dream, which is called trance. You assume that you are awake, you assume you are asleep, but it will happen immediately. That one is mostly assured, most time. But yet, the word of God is bigger than it. So don't walk by your dreams again. A lady talked to me and said, I, I, Daddy, I, I, I'm confused in my life. I said, why are you confused, beloved? Why are you confused, my beloved? Why are you confused? He said, people, I see people say, pursue your dream, pursue your dream. But what I dream is where I'm fighting, where they're taking things from me, where they are hurting me. Where I, I, should I pursue? I said, no, that's what, not what it means. Pursue your dream is this. Have a goal in your heart. This is what I want to achieve. Whether it is raining or not raining, you go towards it. That's what it means to pursue your dream. It's not those nonsense you dream that you begin to pursue. <laughs> you pursue in the spiritual realm. No, you set a goal. This year I shall be a soul winner. I must live a clean life. I've been living in fornication. I will no more live in it. I've been a gossip. I will no more gossip. I've been a drunk. I will no more be a drunk, a drunk this year. You set a goal for yourself. I beg people money last year. I'm not going to beg money. Last year I was lazy. I'm not going to be lazy this year. Last year I disobeyed the voice of God that made me to live in pain and in tears and crying. I will not disobey his voice again. That's what it means to follow your dream. Follow your dream. Follow your dream. That means you have a goal. Follow your dream means have a focus. Look towards something. Most of you are serving. Serving and serving and serving. You started serving when you were young. And you are still serving. Instead of you to think of establishing yourself. Like I pity all these civil servants working here and there. I said what is this? All these civil servants working, working, working. Your monthly salary is a confusion. Given to heal your mind in the midst of your lack and the uh, and the deceitfulness. That's what that your that your monthly salary. That's what it means. So establish yourself. You become a guy of yourself. You become a man and a master. You can gather that money and establish yourself. For 36 years or five years, government will use you and put you aside. When your usefulness is there, they will use you. When they say you are no more useful, they put you aside. Are you not thinking about it? Yes, you can start by working for somebody, but don't end up serving people. That's what God told me. He said, for every person I created, there's greatness in that person. He said, when you realize your greatness, people will serve you. But when you don't realize your greatness, you will serve people. That's what God told me. So who is that angel that is coming to give you a dream? What kind of dream are you dreaming? Eh? That I made you to go outside God and outside the will of God. I kept dreaming dream. My dream doesn't frighten me. Somebody, oh, I ate in that dream. They are fighting me. I just, I cried. Ah, come on, shut up your mouth. What is happening in the spiritual realm that is revealed to you? For you to get the devil and deal with him once and for all. You are crying. <laughs> are you not ashamed? You dreamt that you are crying. Daddy, I, I am not happy today. I have not eaten. Bring down your food to me. I will eat it. You have not eaten, but you kept your food for one corner. You will still eat it. Stop being afraid of your dreams. Whenever you have a dream, you say, okay, is that what you want to do, devil? <laughs> I will handle you. There are some dreams you have. This is the plan the devil has. You declare praying and fasting. You say, me and devil, devil, you are gone and gone forever. I will handle you. I will deal with you. You don't know you are bigger than the devil because there's a great man in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Somebody was telling me, Daddy, devil live in me and he's doing this. I said, where is Jesus? The Bible says you're a temple of the Holy Spirit. All this demon that was doing this, where is Jesus? 
Somebody came, I was praying for one woman. He said, Daddy, my head is breaking. My head is breaking. I know this is a type of women that live in fear. You have to do away with the fear before you start praying for them. While I was praying, I said, every power, pending her in the ear, uh, head, get out. She began to hit her neck. I said, what is it? He said, it's inside. And when I was saying neck, come on, she began to hit her hand. I said, where? He said, it's inside. He said, no. And when I wanted to laugh, he hit the neck, belly. Ah! Ah! I said, what? He said, it's in the belly. It's in the belly. I was trying to pray. The belly. He was sitting in the laps. I said, what? He said, it don't. I said, it has a root. Maybe it has a, a transport express road in your body. Come on, madam, open your eyes. Open your eyes. I don't waste prayer, so. Are you hearing me? The Bible said the joy shall live by faith and not by fear. You would have told me there's a constructed road inside of you. That these things are going from here to here to here to here. By the time I scored her and the, 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 spoke to her, the thing disappeared of her head and she started jumping. Fear has torment. Who is that angel that will come with all this nonsense and begin to tell you one thing or the other? Your dream shouldn't control you. The word of God should control you. Are you hearing me? St. Paul said, I am not disobedient to heavenly vision. What is what in your mind? Ah. Today, let's read again. Oh, the angel, you are so trusting. Look at, look at about the, in the book of Jude. Jude is only one book, one chapter. Jude uh, that's chapter 1, which is only one chapter. Verse 6. Jude, verse 6. It's only just one chapter. Jude, verse 6. Stop being afraid. Some of you cannot sleep in the night. When God, Bible said, God giveth his beloved sleep. You cannot sleep. You are thinking, when God give you time to rest, and you pray that God should take over your Bible said, cast your cares upon him, for he careth for you. If God is caring for me, then why should I then be dying? If God is caring for me, why then should I be in trouble? If God is caring for me, why should I live in trouble? Jude verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had reserved an everlasting chain under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. You see how the angels are being handled. The overall order, which is God of God and King of Angels, handles the angels quite. Do you know that not all the angels were released, all the demons were released. There are demons that are more wicked than the devil. God didn't release them. He kept them in chain here. If he has released all of them, hey, wickedness and extra wickedness would have been here. Devil was only the choir leader. And it was like this. All the demons that were assisting Michael in warring and fighting, if they were released, that followed the devil, if they were released, this world would not have been a pleasant place at all. But the little that we are released is giving us all this headache. So many pastors today are going to native doctors to get power. Going to native doctors to get power to operate in the name of Jesus. The judgment is coming on you. If you are among such men of God, repent. If you are going to such men of God, desist from that and begin to do praying and fasting and go for deliverance now. So that God is going to deliver you and set you free. The Bible said, if the son therefore shall set you free, shall be free indeed. What is separating you from the love of God? Today, we, because I want to talk uh, 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 um, at large about the angel. That's why it has taken us about this an hour, about talking about the angels. By, uh, by, uh, by Monday, we're going to continue about other things that can separate you from the love of God. Bible says, is it that? Is that separating you already? Do you love the loved one? Sorry, my dear. Sorry for losing the loved one. Sorry, but continue in the Lord. David said, I will go to him, not him coming to me. Eh? Sorry, comfort yourself. Is it life? I've life so dead with you. Is it all bad, bad, bad? You talk about life. Come on, share up. Share up. There was a time life was so bad, so hot in to me, nothing in the house. I still have visitors. I gather them in my parlor. I know there was no food to eat. I told them I have a new song. And I told them we got that round about and we started dancing it. My first song was very small then, but he still remembered the song. We were dancing. We begin to sing. Uh, we sing it in Hebrew, but the, the English interpretation said, that is what God wants to do. That's what, what, what God, God wants to do. Big ten. We'll clap it, clap it fast, and somebody will dance. We dance it one by one, one by one, around, and we slept off. No, it's not every time you cry over a situation. 
You pile what the devil is doing and pile it. Ah, devil say I'm a big man in this life. Oh, I have a lot of treasures there. Look at the pains he's talking. Look at how he fell. Look at how I hindered him. Look, oh, the demon in charge will go back and tell their master devil. Oh, a girl, you hear what you need to talk. And the devil said, come, I'll promote you. Go and do more. He said, since I come out of this life, since I come out of this life, it has been sorrow, it has been pain, it has been nothing, it has been nothing. The devil said, oh, we are trying, man. We are trying. You prayed and set the kingdom of devil on fire. All the demons will be panicking and shaking. They will go in secret and cry. And when they just give you a small knock, you will cry in the open. Wah! With your mouth open. Are you not ashamed? Bible says, endure affliction as a soldier of Christ. You must dare endure affliction. What is separating you? Your love is so down. You can't pray for 30 minutes again. You cannot pray as you ought to pray. What is separating you from the love of Christ? The devil might use lack, might use poverty. The devil visited me with poverty. Visited me with lack. I was lacking. At the day, I had only one sandals. One shoe. That was all I had in my life. I said, for how long will I be poor? I was to conduct a program that night. I gave out that only one sandal I had that day. I went to fellowship that place. I gave it out. I was to conduct. And they say, you're not wearing anything. I say, yes. The man of God there gave me his slipper shoe to wear. I wore it, conducted it. He said, carry this one to go. I said, okay. In the next three, four, five, six, seven days, I begin to have shoes, 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 shoes. You are holding yourself. Many of you have eaten their seed. Those ones you need to plant and bigger one will come. You ate them. You will suffer now. Some of you don't even pay tight. And they told you not to pay tight. Bible said, let me tell you, if you pray from now, to one million years in the name of praying and fasting, you will only be holy. If you become holy and poor, you will be annoyed. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. Mm. Follow the Bible principle the way it is. Much prayer and fasting cannot give you money. It can only make you to be righteous and holy. And you have the knowledge of the word of God. Practice all around Christianity. Don't practice one aspect of Christianity. If you need it all around blessing, practice all around Christianity. And the hand of God will dwell on you. I don't know what is separating you from love of Christ. But today, I pray it shall no more separate you. I got to come to you again. By Monday, we got to continue this preaching. But by Sunday morning, I will still be here again by 9 a.m. Nigerian time and preach the word of God to you. May God keep you and bless you. What is separating you? Can't you say, I've been too far from him. Can't I come closer? He is light. The more you come closer, the more you will see. If you go far, you become dark. And you cannot see in dark. Come to light and you will see. God bless you. Let's pray together. Shall we begin to pray right now? What is separating me? Can you begin to examine yourself? What messages, what kind of dream have I had and become discouraged? What is it that has so discouraged my mind and my thought? Bible said even if your mind condemns you that God is higher than your mind. What kind of dreams, what kind of angel, what kind of messages are people giving to me? You didn't go for that prayer, but the, the person that went for prayer, they could not see anything on the person. It is, you have a brother that is called this. You have a sister. Tell him, oh, this and that and that. Hey! The sin that, that is in the life of the person, they will not see it. But they know you are rich now. Nah? If they talk anything, you rush and bring money. And they talk about you. Can you begin to say, God, I'm sorry. All the negative messages I have believed. Any man of God that have laid hand on me that is a fake man of God. I, I'm sorry. I begin to withdraw the hand. Any negative hand laid on me, I reject it. I re Can you begin to reject it? Any prophecy that was given to me, not from God, I reject it right now. Every negative prophecy, I reject you right now. Everything contrary, everything negative in my life, I reject you. You have caused me pain. You have caused me sorrow. You have caused me. You have truncated my mind that I'm not focusing on the word of God. I'm not focusing to listen to the Holy Spirit. I was looking for a man of God to hear what he has to say about me. When the word of God have done x-ray about my life and put it there. Lord, I'm sorry. Can you begin to talk to him? Can you begin to talk to him? Say, my Lord Jesus, my Lord Jesus, my Lord Jesus, my Lord Jesus, 
Deliver me right now from every negative man, from any negative woman, from any negative power. Any person that is close to me, that is operating with a negative power, reveal it to me so that I will avoid him, so that I will avoid her. Even the pastor where I worship is still using a negative power. Even this man of God preaching is still using a negative power. Open my eyes, O oh Lord. Show me in the scripture. Open my eyes. Give me divine revelation. Show me who I am. Show me my level. Show me my standard that I will continue in you. Tell me how to come closer to you. Lord, I want to come closer to you. Can you begin to talk to God? Lord, open my eye. Open my eye. Draw me closer. Draw me closer. Lord, draw me closer, closer to thee. My songs every day, Father, closer to thee. Draw me closer, closer to thee. Nearer to thee, nearer to thee. Lord, draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Oh, my song every day, Father, draw me closer. Draw me closer, closer to thee. Lord, as I'm going astray, draw me closer. I may feel the pride in me may not allow me to know. You know, pride is the only thing you have, but I don't know you have it. People will tell you you are proud. You say, I'm not proud of anything. Father, let every pride in me go. Let there be humility so that I will bow down and listen to the word of God so that this soul of mine shall be saved. It will not burn in hellfire in eternity. Save my soul, O God. I love you, Jesus of Nazareth. All these friends that I'm keeping, that are not talking about holiness and righteousness, that are not talking about heaven. Father, cut them off from me. I want to make heaven. I want to live a holy life. I want to live a righteous life. I want to be a child of God. I want to be a seed of holiness and seed of righteousness. Can you begin to talk? Father, I need more of you. I need your power. I need your strength. I need your goodness. I need your love. I need your excellency. Direct me, O oh God. Show me your way, O oh Lord. Show me your way of holiness. Show me your way of righteousness. Show me your way that I will move according to your Word. Show me your way, O oh God, that I will move in holiness and righteousness. All the man made ideas I've been following, all the doctrines that are made my men that I've been following, vanish out of me and get out of me. Open my eyes to the scripture. Help me, give me time to study the word of God. Can you begin to pray? God, help me, you know, job, 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 job. You're working for 10 to 10, 10 to 12 hours every day. You come back weak. You don't have time for the Bible. You don't have time for your wife, for your husband, for your children. The husband is coming in, the wife is moving out. All this will end very soon here on earth but your soul will be forever in eternity God show us mercy in Jesus name we pray Father, I begin to pray for my brothers and sisters as men that have heard this word of God today. Some of them have been giving fake knowledge. Some of them have been giving fake messages. Some of them have been giving fake uh, interpretation. Some of them are one dream or another have manifested and one negative thing or another thing has manifested and their dream have been controlling them. Instead of the word of God to control them, their dream have been controlling them. Father, oh God, every confusion dream have put in the life of this listener, I break it right now, I cast it away. Yes, you can speak through dream, but not causing confusion, not causing pain, and not for us to follow dream more than the word of God. Some people, if they dream, sleep for one week without dream, they say, oh, I'm not dreaming again, I'm not dreaming again. Hey, God will show you dream when he wants to show that to you. You don't force him. You don't force him to do that. Any dream I dream, I forget about it. I say you are not important. If you are so important, you would have been clearer. Stop troubling yourself on those things that are nothing. Focus on the word of God. God has given you the best. Then why are you going for good? When you have the best, why are you going for good? Yeah, a dream can come, but the word of God is the highest of highest. Father, I give you praise for the word of God. I give you praise for the word of life. Blessed be your name. Speak to that man, speak to that woman. Every confusion in your life be gone. Anything that's separating you from the love of God, be gone, be gone, be gone. It could be a med, it could be a med, it could be a med that has come to your heart. You forget about your husband. You are looking at the dirty maid that does not bath. You are looking at the breast of the dirty maid when she's, you know, when she's sweeping the house. You are looking at her. She doesn't bath. She's very dirty. You want to abandon your husband, wife. Look, let me tell you, that is separating you from the love of God. All these lies you are telling, you bought the 10 naira, you said it is 20 naira, you just took that little money and something will come and carry that money. Oh, this lies, all this is separating you from the love of God. Look at that man, you are married, but your heart has gone to another man. Look at all this thing and all this thing. Can't you say, God, I'm sorry about all this thing? Where is my mind going? Where is my mind going? What do you love more than Jesus? In the morning, the first thing is to consult is your phone. In the middle of the night, when you wake up, you consult your phone. No more night prayer, no more early morning prayer. It is 
is your phone. This is your first consultant. The first thing you made in the morning. No. Can you say, God, I'm sorry about that. Father, deliver my brothers and sisters. Deliver us from anything that is making us not to love Christ. Deliver us right now. And may Jesus be all in all in our life. Right now, Lord, we surrender our spirit, soul, and body unto you. Possess us by the power of your mind. And holy name be the watchword. And may we live in cleaning and purity of holiness and righteousness. And let the righteousness of Jesus possess us and walk in us. And may we live for God and for God alone. And let his name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be a new spirit of God. A new spirit of it. great power of God. Oh, somebody's peace is not there. I release peace. I release peace. From tonight, I give you peace. You will sleep like a baby this night. You are hearing me. I say you sleep like a baby. All these worries and anxieties that have so filled your heart. Suspiciousness. Do you see? When the devil wants to cause confusion, one woman kept saying, I saw my husband sleeping with another woman in the dream. I seen it three, four, five times. That's a suspicion. That is the devil. That is the devil bringing trouble in your marriage. I bind that demon that is bringing that stupid dream in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the glory of God come upon you. Let the peace of God come upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a divine revelation. You follow the standard of God and not the man-made rule and not the angel and what God said. Thank you, Father, for the great answer. Hallowed be your name, O Lord. We give you praise and worship and honor, adoration and dominion and thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. May the remaining days of this week be blessed for you. And may you see peace and open door. I see a light. Somebody, light is shining on your way. Give me this testimony. That which has, you thought is a failure. God said, I've shown light in darkness. You will excel in life. Give me your testimony. As so many of you have been calling me, giving me your testimony. You felt it is a failure already, but God is showing light to your path. Come on, go and scale, uh, scale through and make it in life. And Christ will be honored in you forevermore. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. If you are not born again, we are not talking with you then. We are not talking to you. If you are not born again, you are far away from God. If you are not born again, oh, your own is total blindness. Can't you say, Lord, I have been blind? The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, that the God of this world has blinded the eyes of unbelievers. When you are not born again, you are spiritually blind. You don't know what we're talking about. You may like the grammar of the man of God. You may like the dressing of the man of God. You may like the eloquence of the man of God. But it doesn't, that what we're talking about, you are totally out of it because you're already in born and you're in darkness and you're in shame. You're in disgrace. You are like a sheep to be slain anytime you can go to hell. But you can say right now, Lord, I don't want to go to hell. I need Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. If you want to be born again, can you say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I'm sorry I am a sinner. I now repent of every unrighteousness. Jesus, I receive you right now as my Lord and my Savior. Give me grace to live a holy life. Give me grace to be your child now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Father. God be glorified and magnified and his name be worship and praise. To him be every praise, worship, dominion, adoration, and thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. All of you that God will be using wonderfully for us. Thank you so much. All the people that say in the data we are using, everything we are using to make this broadcast, they will take care. Souls must be rich. Thank you so much. All that be helping us to sponsor the widows, the orphans, the poor people. God bless you so much. All the people that have been encouraging us, sharing these messages to far and near. God bless you all. May God bless all of you. You have a role to play in the house of God. Keep playing your role and God will keep honoring you. We got to meet again. Today, I love you. Jesus loves you more. Remain favored.